Well, today's video is straightforward. You've seen the title. If you want to know more about, you know, pretty much how to do the trunk in your 70s model conversion, that's what this is. See the big back window? That's factory for a 79 Kamal, not a 70. We left the big back window in it, but we did do the back portion. I'm going to explain to you how we did the trunk, and uh, maybe you find this video helpful if you want to do this for yourself. So the way this trunk was done, it was done with half sections from a half quarter here. And you can't even tell it before we put them in. And we had the tail panel here. It came in one piece section. Right here. You can get it two ways. Single or two. But inside trunk pan. People say. That you need to change the trunk pan. Well you do. The trunk pan needs to change. If you were going for a factory crown. But if you just don't care. You can extend your trunk. Build extensions. That seam seal on top of this, like was done here. Leave gaps to get to your bumper bolts, like was done here. All this was built. This is a factory. This trunk latch here is factory 1979. This is not changed. It works perfect. Seam sealed and built up. And that's all you have to do. You fit this piece, this tail piece right here. It joins in here. You fit this tail piece. And once that tailpiece is fitted, you fit your sides. And once everything is right, you go in and build your trunk last and position your trunk lock. And, you know, it works out great. Take a look. Couldn't ask for one to turn out better. First, with the budget parts we used, we used the half quarters budget of course this tail panel was the cheapest we could find budget the back bumper though is amd and let me tell you the amd back bumper fits great this is an aftermarket these spores here these are a little expensive but fitment on them you can see it's great took a little adjustment but it worked out that one needed just a tad bit of shimming but uh when you're trying to get do these old cars shims is a must you can see down through the you got a little buffing compound under it needs washed out cleaned out can't even tell where the quarters was put on well the factory hood is on it because the cow hood is expensive and the cow hood is ever come out. you see with a split muff it's got a cow hood the stripes on the factory bumper, take a look. Right here, the front, that's, I guess that's your nose piece. The bumper goes here, the stripes come onto the factory bumper. Just look at them, they look good. And then travel onto the hood, to the back. It just suits the car. I like the factory hood with the stripes. Better than the cow, I said it. Never would, figured I would, but once I got the stripes on it, it suits the car. This is, uh, the color of this car is shadow gray. That's a Ford color, by the way. Unlike the Mustangs and stuff, it comes in the different variances. This is the prime. Uh, you know, you got different shades of the color. So, if you see a color you, a certain color you like, and you buy it and it's not exactly the same, you probably looked at a different variant. Because this, on this truck, is indigo. And uh, that was a variant with the purple on it. That this truck looks just super purple in the sun and stuff. This one's more towards the, well, you can see, not so purple. What I'm saying is, when you go in, if you go buy your paint, go to a place that's got a chip set that's local. See how many variances they got in the brand of paint. And pick the color you like. Take it out into the sun. I'm going to finish up some more stuff to this car. It's pretty much done. You can see the Maverick in the background. I'm going to clean it up one more time. I'm actually going to probably wax it. It's been painted for about two months now. You don't want to go ahead and wax one to hit set. Because even though it's dry to the touch, it's still gassing off for a month, about two months, three months. But it's been extremely hot outside in the sun. It's been baking. It's been baking in the building too. And it's been about... About two months it's been done now, a month and a half. So I'm I'm safe to assume that it's safe to wax and that will give this paint its protection. 
that it needs and I will try to make a video on that I'll take a video of washing it and going through some steps let me know in the comment section below what you think about this car Are you building one yourself uh, how did you find my channel to begin with you know I try to upload daily I have not been able to keep to that schedule I've been busy my little dog had surgery and it's been sick uh, it's always irritated from that uh, hose that goes down in your throat after they you know knock you out and do stuff to you I guess and uh, he's had a chronic cough ever since and a gag and uh, we've been just trying to keep him calm and stuff and he's usually like you know beside me so I've been trying to keep my uh, time you know well spent with him to keep him calm as he heals so let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going back in with my doggy now. I'm going to try to get this uploaded for you. You can see the trunk panels. Easy to build. It's very easy. I got a full video of it. Actually installing all that stuff. Check out the Kamal playlist and more. And check out the eBay store.